Enhancement of Preventive Measures Against COVID-19 Taken by Tokyo Nodai Students Are you continuing to take precautions against infection? Haven't you become accustomed to COVID and neglected to take careful actions? It is important to continue taking measures to prevent infections. Let's think again now about what we need to be careful of to make our campus life better together. Remember to check your temperature daily. Wear a mask in public places. Wash and disinfect your hands frequently. And gargle when you get home. Also, do not forget to ventilate your room. Haven't you been neglecting to take these precautions compared to before? If you are sensitive to alcohol, you can wash your hands well and use non alcoholic disinfectants. How are you feeling? When you or someone close to you had symptoms such as fever or sore throat, do not come to campus. Early treatment and prevention of the spread of infection are important. If you take over the counter medicines at your own discretion, it may worsen your symptoms. Please consult with the Fever Consultation Center or your doctor as soon as possible. If you have any suspicious symptoms or close contact with a person infected with the virus, please contact the Center for Health Promotion or the Health Care Center. You can find more detailed information on the Nodai website and the Student Portal website. If you contract an infectious disease listed by the School Health and Safety Act, you have an obligation to report it to the university. Your identification will remain confidential. It is important to wear a high performance mask. Choose a woven mask if possible. Double masking can increase your protection too. Masks made of urethane are considered less effective. They make breathing easier, but they don't filter out viruses well. Dirty masks are not effective either. If your mask gets dirty, replace it with a new clean mask. It is important to wear a mask properly. Is your mask covering your nose completely? When you put a mask on, hold both ends and wear it correctly. Aren't you wearing a mask under your nose or on your chin? Especially, lately many people are keeping their masks on their chin after eating or drinking. Do not forget to put it back on. Be careful not to touch your eyes, mouth, and nose. Some people are worried about getting infected in classrooms or during commuting. However, looking at the infection situation so far, in person classes and commuting are not considered to be the main cause of infection. Rather, the actual causes of infection. Are often conversations at a close distance and eating and drinking with others without wearing masks. Aren't you having a conversation with your mask off during lunch, during break time, or in a smoking area? Aren't you going for a drink or karaoke after school? Avoid these high risk activities to prevent the infection. COVID 19 spreads from person to person. The longer the infection period lasts, the more chances the virus has to mutate. In order to reduce the risk of infection, it is important to ventilate rooms frequently, avoid droplet infections, maintain a safe distance with others, and not to talk while eating. Before eating or drinking, make sure to ventilate the room. Wipe the table with disinfectant. Wash your hands. Keep a safe distance with others and eat quietly. When you want to enjoy conversations, do not forget to put your mask on. You can also use the acrylic partition effectively. We thank you for your cooperation. 
After the Delta variant, Omicron BA1 increased, and then the replacement by the BA2, also known as Stealth Omicron, has progressed, which is thought to have a strong influence on the current increase in the number of newly infected individuals, especially among teens and 20s. Not only infected people, but also severe cases and deaths are increasing in some countries, so caution is required. It is also reported that a new variant, Omicron XE, has been found. We need to be careful of our unintentional actions too. Do you always remember to put your mask back on after sliding it down to drink? Do not think it's not a big deal. Some cases of spreading infection caused by the failure to wear masks have been reported on Norai campus. Do you have a habit of touching your face or hair? Use clean hand towels, as germs can get onto hands easily and spread infections. Keep reminding yourself to wash and sanitize your hands frequently. The virus invades mucous membranes of the mouth, eyes, and nose. As of April 6, the cumulative number of confirmed COVID 19 cases is approximately 6.8 million, and the number of deaths is over 28,000. 45% of infections occur during the incubation period, and the last two days before onset is the most critical period of infection. In order to prevent the onset and aggravation and to avoid passing it on to others, consider an additional third dose of the vaccine. Immediately after the onset of illness is also when infection can easily spread. Especially if you live alone, it is encouraged to store at least a three-day supply of food in case of emergency. Not only keeping emergency food, but rolling stockpile is recommended. Rolling stockpile is a method to stock up with slightly more daily food products and restock those you consumed. Currently, household transmissions are by far the most common. Especially, we need to be extra careful with those who are at a higher risk, such as older adults pregnant women, and people with underlying conditions. The number of asymptomatic cases is increasing. We ask for your cooperation in preventing the spread of infections to protect your family and prevent overwhelming hospitals. If you have been in a close contact with someone with COVID-19, stay home and avoid contact with others to prevent the spread of infections. Even after recovering from COVID-19 infection, some people develop long-term symptoms. Please consult with aftercare outpatient clinic if you have symptoms such as prolonged cough, shortness of breath, or loss of taste, the sense of smell, and memory. If you have symptoms such as anxiety or depression, Please contact the Center for Health Promotion or the Health Care Center first. Tokyo Nodai PCR Center is now open. Please visit the center when you need to take a PCR test, such as before practical trainings, admission tests, school events, traveling, or when you had a close contact with infected people. Some students have already taken the test at the center to attend practical trainings and club activities. The test kit can be mailed too. Please visit Tokyo Nodai website for more information. With all this information, do you feel more confident about what you can do to protect your family and friends from COVID-19? Be careful of misinformation and let's take responsible actions to prevent the spread of infection and enjoy our campus life.